there's a difference between ignorance and intentionally spreading misinformation. And if we don't allow for that in society, then then no one will ever learn anything. Why would you expect some actress to know about whether vaccines are good or bad or the details of them or what the risks are or not? Why would you expect her to know? Maybe. Let's, let's just say, I, by the way, I'm not all pro-vaccine and I'm not going to take the COVID vaccine when it comes out, but that's aside. Just put that aside. Forget about my stance. You could be totally pro-vaccine. She doesn't, she's got questions. She's got some questions. Hey, I've got some questions. I wonder if I should. Here's this person saying some things. Okay, well, that needs to be met if you are a pro-vaccine person. That needs to be met with, well, here are some reasons why that's bull crap, right? And obviously yeah. the guy saying growing extra limbs, obviously he was being hyperbolic, right? But he, you, would, you would come back and say, here, let me educate you. If you have a world in which you are not allowed to ask questions of the scientist, you're not the person they're trying to help, you're the lab rat. If you can't, if, if you're not allowed to ask the experimenter, or if you're not allowed to ask the scientists questions, if you're not allowed to question the scientists, you're not the beneficiary. Beneficiaries yeah. are allowed to question our scientists. If you can't question your scientists, you're the livestock, you're the lab rat, you're the whatever, throw in your analogy there. Only the lab rat Plus. can't ask the scientist what the hell he's doing. Everyone else can. Beneficiaries can ask. And if they can't explain it to you, that's the scientist's problem, not yours. Yeah. There's nothing I more mean, anti-science than telling people they can't have things explained to them, that they've got to trust the scientists. Well, they say trust the science, but they mean trust the mainstream scientific consensus. There's nothing more anti-science than blindly trusting the mainstream anti -science, or the mainstream scientific consensus. There's nothing more anti-science than that. If you want to support science, you answer people's questions sincerely. You let them ask questions. When they say, I think the earth might be flat, you give them actual data that supports an argument against the earth being flat. You don't, you don't bully them and call them names and tell them that they're just trying to harm people and call them anti-science and call them a bitch. You don't do that. So you know who else was told not to question? And I saw this mentioned in one of the articles about this whole thing. But the infamous um, Tuskegee experiment, which happened in the 1930s. <laughs> yep. Where the, they, the government, where they took 600 black men uh, about 400 of whom had syphilis and 200 of whom did not have syphilis. And they told them they were going to give them free medical care. And most of these were men who had never been to the doctor before. And then over the course of the experiment, they were studying syphilis, but they weren't, they didn't tell these men they were studying it. They told them they were treating them. They were giving them placebos. And even though a treat there was a treatment that you know became recommended i think it was penicillin or something became recommended uh at some point during the study like in the 40s they didn't treat these men they let them die mm -hmm. they thought they were getting treatment but they were taking placebos and that's a really infamous dark blot you know on, on america's history that most people i think if you grow up um Black in this country, you've definitely probably heard of the Tuskegee experiment, um, or you're more likely to have heard of it than yep. if you're you white, know probably. But you, everybody should know about it. And people were rightfully pointing out in one article, they were saying, you know, wouldn't the social justice, wouldn't you think the social justice warriors here would be, they're usually the ones taking something like that and then pushing it to the extreme and saying, you know, therefore, uh, Black people, if there is a forced vaccine, it should black people shouldn't have to take it, right? <laughs> like they would take it to some absurd place. Like we'll decide who takes it based on race, <laughs> like, <laughs> right? 
But they're not doing that. And they're barely, they're not even acknowledging that uh, there might be, maybe in the black community, you, you might be more, no, again, I'm not a social justice warrior anymore. I do not believe all black people have the same opinions, right? But you might maybe on average, I'd be interested to see the study that's on average, do you, are you less trusting of science or of vaccines if you grow up uh, black? And if you grow up knowing about that experiment, maybe, I don't know. And it's just weird to see them discarding that. It's almost like, so because the social justice left has this hierarchy of oppressions and stuff, right? And they put black people really far at the top. Um, but it's almost as if COVID is like the most <laughs> sacred now. COVID, because they like, don't Trump's actually everything. care about, yeah, they're authoritarian. So authoritarianism is the goal. They, they, they have a pretty clear end goal. So black people yeah. are only at the top insofar as it helps them push authoritarianism and if it doesn't then and if it doesn't yeah it's like oh you won't take the vaccine well now now we're going to call you all these sexist racist names we're going to lie about what you believe we're going to call you all these things that you're not and we're going to bully you and shame you off of twitter yep yep so i yeah i i just that the idea that we can't Um, um, the idea that you can't question, that you can't ask legitimate questions. We don't know what she thinks about vaccines. Maybe she's just ignorant. about. That's okay to be ignorant. It's okay to not know something. She's just asking yeah. questions. And it is not radical to, 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 <laughs> to be a questions. mouthpiece for the, the state and the mainstream consensus. That's uh, not radical. It's not radical to be like, oh... I'm so I'm so cool and radical. I'm so anti, you know, whatever. I'm I'm such a radical agent for change that I enforce the state propaganda against everyone. Like, well, how dare you question the state? Like, that's not you're not the Resist. radical dude. You're They're not like the revolutionary. There. You're the jerk who's like bringing in authoritarianism. Yeah. You're the tool being used by the state. That's what you are. They're out there with the signs of say resist and right, what they're you're missing not is the word. Anything. No way. <laughs> what they're missing on that sign that says resist is the word that says nothing. Right. I mean, actually what it's resist any change to the status quo. Like it's it's just it's amazing to me how what we used to think of these traditional hippies running around with question authority bumper stickers have grown up to be sycophants for authoritarianism it is so crazy they are just bootlickers that's all they are and it's like well our vaccine's good covid vaccine good we don't even know anything about the covid vaccine by the way <laughs> so I'd how would like you know to go to a resist rally and just take some stickers that say nothing and then when i see somebody with a resist sign just be like can i can i put nothing on your sign right under <laughs> resist right. Because that's what you're doing. 